Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm here to share my latest project, which is Come One, Come All from Graphic 45. And um, this is uh, like an album in a box. It's a little bit different. Um, the way the pages are structured, um, they're actually on um, pieces of chipboard, so we don't have a hinge in this project, so it makes it a little bit interesting. It is a hexagon. It looks a little bit like a box when you're looking straight down at it, but it's a hexagon, and so these are all the sides. This is a Graphic 45 uh, die, and then inside I've featured um, cut-aparts or cutouts from the small ephemera pack. This is also a Graphic 45 uh, die, and it's part of the same collection. Uh, these were fussy cut off the top of each one of the um, ephemera cards and then placed on the top. There were only four, so I spread them out. This is another ephemera card. So um, what I did here is I cut this die out of this paper, and then I flipped it over, and it's a solid on the other side. So you get the die, and then you get this with a vacancy in it. So it looks like like this. So this is the side I put down and then I layered this frame on top. Now I cut out three additional dies in black to make it pop. So you can see that it is slightly, let me show you on this side, it might show better with the light over here. It's slightly raised, um, which makes it stand out and, and uh, shows really pretty in person. So again, those are graphic 45 dies. And then I framed this out. These panels are four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So to make the best use out of my 12 by 12s, I wanted to shrink this down a little bit so that I could get three panels um, covered. Um, and if, you, if I had left it at four and a quarter by four and a quarter, I wouldn't have been able to make my paper stretch quite so far. So I framed it out in red and then die cut this and then flipped over the die and layered it in. So that is what you're gonna see around the sides. Now it looks like a box but, it, box, but it has an opening. So when you take the lid off, it opens into kind of a folio type album. So there's six panels and each one of the panels are the same. There's the last one, so I can all, yeah, I can almost get them all in. So um, let me show you the detail on the tag. So I used the Graphic 45 um, die to layer this tag. Um, it was one of the first dies they came out with, and I just love it. Right here you can see I featured a charm. This is a piece of chipboard, and then this is a die cut. So that makes it really fun, and I just attached everything with some twine. And I do have enough paper to cover the back, but at the end I'll tell you what I'm going to do. So I made each one of the top tags match just to unify the project. So in this case, I would likely put a small photo here, and then you've got room for journaling or an additional photo here. So I'm going to go ahead and take these all out so you can um, look at how I layered the chipboard. And the charm, and this is die cut chipboard charm. I just think that looks really pretty. It really made the inside of the album sort of come alive. And we've got a horse here. Okay, now of course these are charms that you get if you buy the bundle, and they may vary depending on availability, but you will get charms that coordinate with the collection. Now each one of these flips open, and this um, will accommodate a three and a half by three and a half photo or three by threes all the way across. Okay, this is the pocket that was holding the tag, which flips down. And then inside a large pocket is an ephemera card. So you've got this for um, decorative purposes, you've got this for journaling, and you've got room for photos here. And I did that all the way across with the large ephemera cards. This project goes together really quickly. The um, the hard part is cutting through, you know, cutting chipboard, but it goes together pretty darn quickly. There's a total of four videos, not counting the walkthrough, five including the walkthrough, to build this, and um, it goes together, like I said, pretty darn quickly. Okay, so we've got a deep pocket, we've got a, a, a shallow pocket that holds our tags, room for photos here, 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 inside the ephemera, and then front and back of 
the tags. So there's quite a bit of room for photos in this project, even though it looks pretty, it looks kind of small because you're used to seeing pages. So I'm going to put it all together and then I'm going to show it to you intact again. And in the description, if you click show more, you're going to see um, the cut list or the material list, sorry. And then if you scroll down, you will see um, the cut list. So um, the material list will include any of the Graphic 45 uh, dies that I used, as well as the paper. And then the cut list will help you with cut the chipboard and um, this uh, simple pocket flap design. Okay. So let me give you, once I get this together and I'm going to put the lid on it, I'm going to give you the overall dimensions. The outside dimension of the box is nine inches across. So it's just a little bit wider than my typical eight and a half by eight and a half mini album. And I'll tell you how tall it is. Oh, and by the way, that's graphic 45 from um, their pearls, their matte pearls. And that'll be in the material list too. I, I keep those on hand and I add them to projects here and there. I've never used a whole pack on a project. So let's see how tall this is. So I'm going to use my T-form to come across. So it is it's about nine and a half. So it's nine inches wide and nine and a half inches tall. So like I said, it's only a little bit bigger than an eight and a half by eight and a half by two and a half. It's, it's quite a bit wider, but um, uh, deeper, I mean, but it's about the same width and height. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I sure had a lot of fun building it. And I, I just can't get over how beautiful this looks. Um, I wish I had started using this uh, die sooner, but it seemed to just really lend itself to this project. So I hope you guys enjoyed. All the tutorials are available. Now, um, I'm going to tell you what I use for paper. Actually, I'm going to tell you what I've got left over. So I, I started with a bundle. And um, I used nine sheets of the pattern and solids, nine sheets of the 12 by 12 collection, and 13 of the eight by eights. So that leaves me with seven patterns and solids, seven of the 12 by 12 collection, and 11 eight by eights. So what I'm gonna do with that leftover paper is make a companion project of a six and a half by six and a half mini album, which has been highly requested. So I'm going to get a little mini album out that is six and a half by six and a half. So you'll be able to complete this project plus the companion project of the six and a half, six and a half album. And that'll be coming maybe a week later. Um, so I'll put that together. And then the reason I chose that size is based on the amount of paper I had left over, but also the six and a half by six and a half by two inch spine will fit inside this box in this space if you want to do both projects and um, put the companions together. Okay, well thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Crate. If you haven't, please consider subscribing and you'll be notified when we have new content. And please head over to www.scrapandcreate.com and take a look at our shop. All Everything you see here is gonna be available in the shop. And I just wanna let you know that we're taking pre-orders for Stamperia's newest collections, as well as Graphic 45's latest releases, which are due out late uh, February, early March for ship shipment. So thanks, everybody. Again, this is Daphne. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.